Good evening, Pio Nation. I hope you are doing well tonight. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are watching Barry to Call of G Sports. So we have our Rocket League team returning, and they'll be going up against Lava Christian University as part of the NACE Star League Varsity uh, Plus Ball Competition. Sure, that's what we'll call it. But anyway, uh, they played last week uh, in... Kind of lost one to three, but we'll see how things go today. They are warming up right now. I'm just waiting for the invite for the lobby. So while we're waiting for that, let's go over a couple things. So first and foremost, who is playing uh, tonight? I am glad you asked. We have here uh, freshman Joe Christman, Christman uh, V. Korsik, our captain sophomore Tyler Lanham, Ty Lanham 25, and we'll also have freshman Corey Verkalderen uh, Clodon uh, playing for the team. And of course, we have our coaches, head coach Derek Games, Games Grum, and our Rocket League coaches, Caden Laborg, Got Himothy, and Noah Calgill, Kai. But all right. Uh, also, just a few announcements while we are waiting for the invite uh, to the game here. So, first, I want to give a shout out to HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor for Married to College Esports. Uh, they provided our facility with keyboards, mice, uh, headsets, uh, microphones. Um, great quality here. So if you want to check out HyperX, uh, please be sure to go to hyperx.gg slash Marietta ES. The QR code is up on your screen. Uh, we also want to give a shout out to Over the Moon Pizza for their support. Uh, so Tuesdays and Thursdays are their game nights. Uh, that we also uh, are trying to get their... Uh, Switch available so you can play some Super Smash Brothers or some Mario Kart. Uh, but uh, especially on Tuesdays, they'll be airing our Rock, our Overwatch matches. Now tomorrow we have a Valorant match instead of Overwatch, so you can watch our uh, matches there. So definitely go check that out. And it looks like we are just about ready to get started for our game here. So I'm going to go over another quick announcement. Tonight is our Dine to Donate with Wings, etc. So if you're in the Marietta area. Please be sure to download the flyer here at bit.ly slash 47OJBAX and print it or take a screenshot. And if you go to Wings Etc. today, then 15% of your subtotal goes directly to the Marriott College Esports program. I know several of us after this match uh, will be going over there. So if you come by and join, you can actually join us and say hi to uh, some of us uh, over there after this uh, broadcast. Now, if you're not in the area, there are still ways to help support the esports program. We are in the middle of the virtual stadium sellout campaign. We've done this for a couple of years now. Uh, you can go to givecampus.com slash 4JS65M. The QR code is on your screen. Uh, and you can give it, designate a gift and designate to esports, and it goes directly to our program. We have already raised $870 so far, and this is going on until October 23rd. So thank you all uh, for your support. Um, yeah, I mean, this is going to help us with uh, acquiring some more equipment. We're trying to get some more computers uh, for our students. So, yeah, thank you so much uh, for all of your help. And, of course, thank you all for watching, following, and subscribing to our channel. Uh, so uh, there are benefits to subscribing. So you get these custom uh, emotes where you can ex express your joy or your frustration or your sadness uh, with the team. But if you're not able to subscribe, uh, there is Prime Gaming. So if you have an Amazon Prime account and you connect it to your to a free Twitch account, that gives you Prime Gaming, which gives you all sorts of perks. So whether it is uh, free in-game items, uh, or it could be free games depending on the game, or it, it could be a free sub that you can use on any channel of your choice, including ours, and you get those benefits. But, all right, it looks like that we are getting things underway here. So let's go ahead and get things started off here. Marietta College versus Love the Christian University. Marietta will be on the orange team here. Clone's going to go straight for a shot at the goal. But Shadow is there with the block. But Ty Lamb's going to keep that pressure, at least knocking towards the goal. But Snow is over there to deflect. V-Force is going to put some pressure on, but doesn't quite connect. But Ty Lamb's going to knock it towards an open goal. And Marietta is on the board. So great play there by Ty Lamb. It just goes right towards there. But excellent job by the Pioneers. We 
already see. The force is going to go for a shot. Snow is going to tip it into the air. So the force is going to try to angle, hits the crossbar. Blona takes control, but Snow's going to knock right back. Open goal is very dangerous, but fortunately it was just a little bit wide and a double demo between Shadow and V Corsic. Snow's going to tip it into the air there. And Shadow's going to go for the shot, but it gets knocked away. Blona passes it to V Corsic. He's going to take it down the field, but almost got taken away by Snow, but it does get tipped away by Shadow. And everyone's going all over the place with the ball. Clone's going to go for the shot, just a little bit to the left, angles it, but Snow's going to knock it away and falls back. Now Ty Antlin's going to contest with Snow, but still tends over. Shadow's going to go for the shot, doesn't quite connect. But Clone's going to take it over, but we see there, Lavia, I, I, I can't pronounce his name right, I didn't see it fast enough. But we see Lava Christian going to go for the shot. Clavian Cla goes for the shot, Shadow goes for it as well, but Clonan is there for the block. So we are seeing Lava Christian putting a lot of pressure on the Pioneers. Shadow's going to go for another shot here, but it is not the way. Clonan's going to go for the play, but he gets demoed by Clonan. But Ty Lanham's getting to get demo. We got a demolition derby going on here. Clemen goes for the shot, and Shadow's going to get demoed by Clonan. Wow. It's just demos left and right. Snow goes for block, but doesn't quite get it. Thailand sees the opening, and they will score. V Corsic will get the credit. Thailand with the assist. So it bounces over, go away, but all three of them are there. V Corsic will get the shot and get the credit. Pioneers are up 2 0, 255 left in this best of five series. Bowman gets the tip off. And now V-Course is going to go straight for the shot, but doesn't quite connect it. The ball's going down, Clone's going to go for the block. It misses. Clayman's going to take this opportunity, but doesn't quite get the angle he wants. So now Clone's going to take it down, but actually Shadow's going to take it back and set up the play. Gets knocked away. V-Course that gets demoed, and Snow will stop that offense. Tries to go for a shot, but tips, tips high in here, and it almost went in, but it just barely... Just by an inch, maybe even less than an inch, it doesn't go in. The Corsic knocks it away, but it gets centered up for Clavian to go for the shot. And another at the angle. Thailand here knocks it away. Snow's now going to try to make a play. Gets towards the center, but Clovin is there with the save. And all the bur bur boosts are being burned up to try to get this ball down the field. Another crossbar play, Snow goes for the shot, but it's just a little to the right, less than two minutes to go in this game. Snow's trying to do a little bit of bumping there. Clona knocks it away from Shadow before he had a chance to score. So now Thailand and Clona are going to go down the field, but actually Snow takes it back. And a great save there by B. Corsic. Clavian goes for the shot, but doesn't get it. Shadow is going to get de uh, demo. So now Clona's going to use that boost to try to get through, but Snow is there to knock it away from him. Thailand tips it towards the center, but no follow-up. So now, I'm not sure what's going on at this point. It's just kind of staying in the middle. Shadow's going to tip it down, knock it towards the goal, and it goes right over Thailand uh, vehicle. So that will put Lava Christian on the board. Yeah, tries to go for the block, but just wasn't able to get it. So now it is one to two. Marion up by one, a minute 15 remains. This is still a very close game. Things can change at a whim. Clive is going to go for the shot, but V. Corsic is able to disrupt it. Clone takes it down the field, but loses it. Snow's going to go for the shot, but Ty Lanham is there with the epic save. Now one minute remains. And we're going to see Lubbock Christian still putting a lot of pressure, trying to go for that shot, and Snow's going to tie this up. 51 seconds remain. So it is not over by any means. Ty Landon's going to boost a little too much, loses control. And the ball is going to go straight for the goal, but just. Knocked away at the last possible second. 
Now B Forsick is gonna center it up. 30 seconds remain. It is now tied two apiece. Thailand's gonna try to take the ball down. Gets knocks it over to the corner. Flavian is out of boost though. Not much gonna be able to do. But B Forsick is gonna fight for control. B Forsick is gonna go for the shot. Less than 10 seconds remain. Logan's gonna try to set up the play for the Pioneers, but everyone is missing. So unless they score here, it is gonna go into overtime, and yes it will. We are in overtime in this first game. The Corsic wins a shot, but it, maybe it goes to the play, but it tips backwards. Thailand's going to contest. Snow's going to knock it down the field. And Shadow's now going to try to make a play. Logan does knock it away. Snow actually knocks it back towards his field, trying to pass it back uh, to Shadow, but Big Corsic is going to disrupt that. And Snow is going to get demoed. So Clone's going to go for the shot. But Clavinga and Snow are going to be able to recontest and gain control of the ball. Shadow goes for the shot and will get it 44 seconds into overtime. So with that, Lubbock Christian uh, will take game one and they're asking for a technical break. They might have to uh, reset something. So we're gonna take this second just to analyze yeah they're gonna have to do a computer restart looks like but we're gonna take a, a quick analysis of this but we're just seeing that uh love christian just being very aggressive uh with their plays i mean we see here that a shadow uh, made nine shots at the goal scoring two of them snow uh had seven shots at the goal and made one of them and uh, Clavian made three shots with no goals compared to Marietta where they had four shots of the goal combined. So we're seeing that Lubbock Christian is going to be playing a lot more aggressive. And if Marietta, I mean, while they had some great goals early on and a couple of openings, they're going to have to play more aggressive if they're going to uh, make it the make any of the shots here. So we're just going to have to take a second here uh, for uh, everyone to reconnect. And it's probably going to take a second to reboot. So I'm just going to take a quick breather here uh, while we are waiting for the next person to log back in. So we'll be back in just a minute here while we're waiting for that uh, restart. all right welcome back thank you everyone for your patience but we are back and we are getting this game so let's go ahead and get into game two so now lubbock is going to be trying to set up high lane is going to fall back club is going to go for the shot bounce in the air highland is going to look for the finisher but snow is going to knock it away Now Clovis is going to center it up. Thailand is maybe looking for the play. And it looks like uh, a substitution was made. Squirrely is going to be in for Love and Christian. Now Thailand is going to knock it away. But gets demoed by Shadow. Clovis going to try to go for the shot. But Shadow is going to be there uh, to disrupt it. Thailand is just going to... 
drag the ball a little bit away. Now Clone's gonna go down the... Snow's gonna take it back. Tips it over Thailand and gonna try to set up the shot for Shadow, but doesn't quite get the angle. So now V Corsic bounces it off the corner, but Shadow's gonna recontest. And it looks like Squirrely was having connection issues. It seems like he might have lost connection. So yeah, I think it's just, it's a 2v3 at this point. I have to double check how the rules work if there's a lost connection in the middle. Um, I don't know if the, you continue to play it through, but right now it looks like they're trying to play it through. So it's a 2v3, so Marietta has the advantage so they need to capitalize uh, on this. Ty Landon actually gets demoed by Snow. But so far, Love of Christian's holding her own when, even though it's a 2v3. Shadow's gonna be, but V-Borsic is gonna take it away. Now Thailand is just waiting for the, the play there. Goes for the shot, but Shadow is there for the block. Thailand goes for the shot again. Snow is going to get the save. Now V Corsic is going to try to take a stab. But is able to deflect, but Thailand is now going to try to contest, but loses the fight. And Shadow is going to try to set the play with Snow, but Clota knocks it away. But V Corsic does not get the angle he wants. Clonin and Snow are going to fight for control of the ball, but Clonin is going to take it down the field. Love of Christian knows that with their only, when it's only two people, they can't be as aggressive because otherwise they could get severely punished. But everyone on Marius' side is missing the ball. I don't know if there's some lag issues that we're not seeing here. But a huge save there by Ty Lanham. Because that almost went in. Throwing tips in the air, but Shadow is going to dock it down. V-Course is going to try to go up the block, but Love It Christian, despite being down a person, is able to score with a minute 37 remaining in this game. And it's just an exposed goal, and Marietta gets punished for it. Tries to take the ball down, but Snow takes it away. Ty Lanham is going to take it over, but Shadow actually takes it back and gets it by V Corsic. And Snow's going to go for the shot, goes up in the corner. Shadow's looking for the rebound. This might be the opportunity that Mary needs. Ty Lanham, but loses control of the ball. B Corsic's going to pass in the air. One minute remains. Thailand does not get the shot that he wants. B Corsic knocks it down. But Snow is able to deflect. Well, let's kind of go for the pass, but Snow was there to deflect it. But Clodin's going to get demoed by Snow. And Love of Christian goes for another shot. Doesn't get it. 30 seconds remain. Clodin's going to take it down the field, trying to set up the play, but gets bumped by Shadow. Thailand bounces towards the middle, but does not connect. Now five seconds remain. Love of Christian still up by one. So Marriott needs a goal right here if they want to tie this up. Marriott is trying to keep the ball in the air, but it's not going to happen. So despite the disconnect, Love of Christian is able to take the second game here. So it is going to be match point for Love of Christian. Probably going to give it a second to see if their third person can reconnect. Because I'm not sure what happened there. It felt like the game was a little laggy.
But we're seeing, once again, Shadow making uh, five shots of the goal and, and scoring one of them. Marietta played a little bit better aggressive-wise. Uh, Thailand had three shots, and we, of course, had two shots. And it looks like you're saying computer got toasted, switching. Okay, so the uh, the one computer is having some technical issues. Uh, seems like it might be done. If they're saying it got toasted, so they're connecting to a brand new computer, and hopefully that will fix their issues. But the pioneers are going to have to kind of reassess how they're playing, just because they were not able to capitalize on the numbers advantage. And it's just like they're. I'm not sure what it is. But anyway, we're going to wait just a little bit for uh, the third player for Love of Christian to log in before starting up the game. So in the meantime, we have a few more announcements that we'll go over while we're, we're waiting here. Uh, of course, we are always looking for more students for our program. Yes, we are recruiting for Fall 24. Uh, we have varsity titles in Fortnite, League of Legends, Overwatch 2, uh, Rainbow Six Siege, Rocket League, Super Smash Brothers, and Valorant. Uh, of course, we do have... Uh, our facility here on campus. Uh, we have our coaches. Uh, we provide academic and uh, mental health support for our students and scholarships are available. So for more information, you go to linktr.ee slash Marietta Esports, where you can follow us on social media. Uh, you can fill out the forms to sign up for a scholarship or even set up a Discord call to talk to our head coach. Speaking of tryouts, yes, we do have that. In fact, here are the links to do that if you're a high school senior or a college transfer. Uh, so you can go to bit.ly slash MC recruit to fill out our recruitment inquiry form. This just gets some information to our admissions department. To schedule the tryout, you can go to uh, bit.ly slash MC eSport tryout. Uh, our next in-person tryout will be October 14th in conjunction of the admissions open house event. Our next Discord tryouts will be on October 15th. So if you're going to be on campus on the 14th, you can try out while you're here. If you're not going to be on campus, we can try out online through our Discord server. So you'd want to join our Discord server at bit.ly slash Pio Discord. Uh, and of course, we'll take a look at the schedule for the rest of the week here. Yeah, a little lighter because it is uh, our fall break for this Thursday and Friday. But our Valorant team will have their matching at Mount Vernon Nazarene uh, Tuesday at 8.15 p.m. Uh, it was supposed to be this past Saturday, but we did have to reschedule it. So we do have that rescheduled for Tuesday. Our Overwatch team is on a, has a bye this week, so that's why they're not playing. You know, on Thursday, we're going to have two matches. Um, our uh, Smash team is playing against uh, Central Michigan University, and our Rainbow Six team is playing against Oklahoma Christian University. Both are at 7 o'clock, so we will... Uh, be streaming the Rainbow Six match uh, just because we've been streaming a, a lot of, of Smash already. Now on Saturday, of course, we'll have our Smash team. They'll be playing against Mount Union at 10 a.m. And then at 3 o'clock, our Fortnite team will be competing in the Nay Star League Traditional Split Championship. They qualified for this several weeks ago, and they've had some great showings the past few weeks, including some victory royales. But this Saturday is the big one. So that will be where basically compete for a national championship. So I know everyone is very uh, excited for that. And of course, we take a minute uh, to thank all of our partners. So we've already given shouts to HyperX and Over the Moon Pizza, but we have other partners as well. We have Buy Blue Light, uh, where they're helping us acquire uh, some blue light glasses for our students. And there will be a future team store um, Eventually, we're still working on the logistics for that. We want to thank Elgato for helping us with acquiring equipment to try to improve the quality of our streams, especially being able to provide the face cams uh, for our students. Uh, we want to thank Accreditware for providing the athletic recovery sleeves that our students use. They, they absolutely love it. Very comfortable uh, for playing with well, a mouse and keyboard. Uh, also want to give a shout out to Kovacs for providing aim training software for our first person shooter uh, students. And then MSI for providing um, some prizing for some upcoming events that we're working on. Uh, and also one of their reps talked to our students a couple weeks ago about careers and how to, to plan for those. But, all right, so we're still uh, waiting. And I'm not sure what's going on. I'm gonna, everyone's leaving here. So I'm gonna guess that they're creating a new lobby. Maybe the the person couldn't, the, the third person for Love of Christian couldn't join. So we're just gonna kinda 
check it out here just in case. While we're waiting, I'm going to pull back up the image for the Dine to Donuts since that is going to happen later tonight. So if you wanted to, uh, if you haven't had dinner yet, so you can go there and get some wings. You just got to make sure you download or get a screenshot of the flyer at the, the link there. So I'm going to put it back up here so that way if you wanted to go to Wings, etc. in Marietta, it's only the Marietta, Ohio location. It's nowhere else uh, that you would be able to, to get that flyer. And as I said earlier, 15% of your uh, subtotal will go towards it. Now it's food and soft drinks. Uh, there is a disclaimer that uh, certain drinks uh, do not count uh, towards this, but uh, food and soft drinks do uh, count uh, towards it. But, okay, so let me try to see here what's going on. Um, yeah, I'm not so sure what the situation is. Oh, wait, wait, I think, I think we're loading something. Okay, I think we're getting back in here, so we might be okay. I was about to take a break, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. Yeah, it, yeah I'm looking here. Yeah, looks like everyone is here, so I think we'll be starting up in just a second. But, all right, it is going to be match point for Love and Christian. So we will see, can Marietta come back from this? Love and Christian already putting on the uh, the pressure for Marietta. Clona knocks it away, but Snow is going to be there to keep that pressure going. Going to try to pass it to Shadow, but uh, does get knocked away. Squirrely is back in this game. But Shadow is going to try to set it up. Cloden does knock it away. And in the air, Snow's already going to strike first. And just kind of drags in the air and does get that. So uh, they are up 1 0, 4 minutes and 30 seconds left. Marion is going to need to work on trying to get some scores here. And Thailand and New Course like, actually bump each other. And Shadow's gonna get demoed by Cloven. New Course is gonna try to set the play, but it's just a little bit to the left. Thailand tries to knock back, but misses. Now V Course is gonna try to take the ball down. Has a little bit of boost, but loses control. Cloven's gonna take it back. You see Squirrely and Shadow kind of falling back to defend. Thailand takes the ball over to the side. Trying to bring it in the air, but loses control. And Squirrely's going to get it away from V Corsic. Slotin will stop the momentum, but Squirrely is there to bump. But Shadow's going to get it away from Ty Lanham. Now Shadow's going to try to set the play. Snow demos V Corsic, but does not get the, the goal. And Shadow with an open goal is going to score. So we're going to see that it bumps off to the wall and Shadow just going to knock it over everyone. Of course, it just did not have an opportunity to use his boost to get in the air. So now Love of Christian is up two to zero. Three minutes and 24 seconds left. No goes for a shot and almost goes in, but Shadow is able to secure. I mean, I don't, I don't know what Pioneers were doing there. Like everyone just kind of missed, and Shadow was just able to knock it over while it was in the air to finish the play. So just another quick strike. Thailand goes for the shot, but Shadow is there to deflect it. The course is going to go for a shot, but not enough momentum there. And Snow was able to knock it away. Now Snow's going to bring it down the field. Thailand knocks it towards the center. Tries to get it away from Squirrely. Tries to pass to Cloven, but just overshoots it. Snow gets it away from the Corset. Yeah, we're having some lag issues here. I'm getting the, the packet loss warning, so... I'm wondering if we're having uh, connection issues, and that might be causing it as well. 
Of course, it does get the save. See, Squirt is going to take it down. Thailand is going to center it up. But there's just no one there to follow through, so Snow's going to take it down. Shadow's going to take it down the field, using most of his boost to keep it in the air. Now Thailand is going to take it over, but it gets deflected away. Less than two minutes to go in this game, and Lubbock Christian's up three to zero. See, Snow's going to try to set up the play. Foden is there to block, but Squirrely's going to go for the shot, and Squirrely's going to make the goal. So now it's 4-0, to zero, and that could very well be the nail in the coffin. I don't see how the Pioneers are going to be able to secure, get four goals in a minute and a half, but anything is possible. Now Snow's going to try to set the play. Shadow goes for the shot, doesn't quite connect. Now Thailand's gonna try to take it down the field. One minute remains in this match, possibly. Loden does get the save from Squirrely's attempt at the goal, but Snow is going to secure another goal. So it is 5 to 0. I see Shadow going for another shot. Logan's going to try to put the pressure on. 30 seconds remaining. Thailand goes for it, but it gets bobbed and knocked over through the side. V Corsic doesn't quite connect. Less than 10 seconds to go. That last second, Lava Christian will take the the series five to zero. Take that one five to zero, but it will be a 3-0 against the the Pioneers. So, all right, that is going to be it for us today, but. Um, Team still has a, a lot to to work on. It's only the the second game of the season for the team, so they'll continue practicing. Uh, they will be playing next Monday, so please be sure to come for that. But we do have plenty of matches later on this week. So, like I said, we have our Valorant team that's playing at eight fifteen tomorrow, and then we'll have our Smash and Rainbow Six teams uh, playing on Thursday, and on Saturday we'll have our Smash team playing in the morning, and then our Fortnite team competing in their championship on Saturday. For all the latest updates with what's going on with Meriden College Esports, please be sure to follow us here on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Shoutouts to all of our supporters. So HyperX, Over the Moon Pizza, Buy Blue Light, uh, Elgato, Incrediware, uh, MSI, and Kovacs. Thank you all for your follows. Thank you for your subscription. Thank you for your gifts. And we hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a good night.